I don't know what you call me do. I don't know what you call me do. I ain't come here looking at you. I ain't come here looking at you. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? I come to praise the Lord. 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 I don't know what you call me do. I don't know what you call me do. I ain't come here looking at you. I ain't come here looking at you. Well, I come to do my dance. 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 I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. I come to lift my hands. I come to lift my hands. I come to wave my hands. I come to wave my hands. I come to shout hallelujah. I come to shout hallelujah. I come to shout hallelujah. I don't know what y'all going to do. I don't know what y'all going to do. Come on, give God a praise off of everybody. Praise team, they're stirring me up. Going old school like that, y'all ain't saying nothing here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We just appreciate God for all of you. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time. Amen. We want to, amen, obey God and get on out the way. Somebody say amen. Amen, because you know church folks on time limits. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know church folks on time limits. Amen. Praise God. But you have to pack a lunch when you come to our church. Somebody say amen. 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 It didn't take you 15 years, 15 minutes to get where you at. All right. Come on, somebody. It don't take no 15 minutes to get you out. It takes longer than that. Come on, somebody. Amen. You're 33 years old. You're 25 or 26 or 27 or 28, amen. 40, 45, 50. Amen. Whatever your age may be, amen. It took you that long to be where you at. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. Praise God. It's going to take time to get you out of where you at. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. We got this instant noodle saints now. Oh, Lord. They want to be instant made. Jesus. Somebody say instant made. Amen. This ain't woman news. You can't put us in a... Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Come on, somebody. You can't get no spread in the house of God. Some people that have been in jail know what I'm talking about. Come on, somebody. Some chips and some noodles. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Some hot chips. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. That's what the inmates used to love. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Spend our whole commissary on it. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Come on, talk back to me, Brother Corey. Come on. I only got one. Come on, brother. Come on. All right, brother. I just know what I'm talking about. Brother, brother, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Sister Shantae, you been in jail? No, oh, yeah. Okay, praise the Lord. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And, you know, we spent all our money up on trying to, amen, make sure we have commissary. Yes. Right. Amen. So we, can have, so we can have something to eat and sometimes we sell it. Come on, y'all ain't sitting here. Yeah. Cause you in jail don't mean you stop doing what you're doing. Right. Come on, it just limits you. Right. Don't you know more people in jail doing a whole lot of stuff? Yeah. On the outside world. More than the outside world. Whatever's going on the outside is going on the inside world. Even worse yeah. about it. Y'all yeah. ain't saying that. Yeah. And most of the people that's in jail that, that give their life to the Lord, most of them are more free than some of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. They locked up. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Y'all ain't even locked up, but you still crazy. All right. All right now. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Them men are free. They love the Lord. Yeah. They saved to the bone. Yes. Most people say they all got salvation, jail salvation. Yeah. Well, well, if that, well, if that's going to save them, praise the Lord. Yeah. We'll call it jail salvation. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Jesus said this, and this is one of our uh, in our, uh, our mission statement, I said this earlier today, praise God. In our mission statements, the Bible says, Jesus said, he said, when I was in prison, you visited me not. Uh -huh. When I was naked, you, you clothed me not. Excuse me, y'all. Somebody say amen. amen. He said, when I was naked, you clothed me not. Yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. amen. When I was homeless, you fed me not. You never if they put me up in a little shelter. You didn't do, do anything for me. Somebody say Amen. amen. Jesus said, 
Amen. When I was fatherless, you never came and, and, and been a father to me. And the Bible says, hey, Lord, when, did, when have we saw you, you know, without this? And when have you saw you without that? They said, Lord, when have we done it? Jesus said, if you did it to the least of them, you did it unto me. Somebody say amen. amen. So what you do to people in the world. And you know, there's something that church folks say this. You know, well, I ain't giving my tithes. I'm going to give my tithes out there on the streets. Out of order. That's right. Amen. Amen. Well, I ain't getting no amen there. Amen. That's true. That's out of order. It sure is. We'll leave that alone. Amen. I want y'all to shut down. We're right talking about y'all right money. Right right folks shut down when they love money stuff. But. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Because you know they say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get my tithes out here to the homeless people. That ain't, that ain't the priest. That ain't That's not the storehouse. See, that's your offering that you're going to give to them. That's it. That's it. Come on, somebody. Amen. And sometimes you don't even supposed to give them money. That's right. Because all they're going to do is go drink it up. That's right. That's right. Most of them smoke it up. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying that here. That's right. Some people, some people out there, some people out there homeless, they want to be homeless. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All of them are not made to be homeless. That's right. Amen. Some of them want to be that way. That's right. They want to fall off the grid. I don't know why I'm going this way. They want to fall off the grid. They don't want people to know how to get in contact with them. They don't want responsibilities no more. Y'all hear what I said? And most of the men is running from child support. Well, can I get an amen? amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Can't run from child support. Especially once they find you. Once they find you, you're going to jail. I ain't working because I don't want them to get my child support money. Tell me. Yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to need that alone. I want to talk today, because some of y'all have shut me down already. I want to talk today. I'm going to part two. Somebody say part two. Somebody say part two. I'm going on my part two of frequency. Somebody say frequency. Somebody say frequency. I dealt with this two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago, I dealt with this frequency. Somebody say frequency. Frequency. We're doing a part two of it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to a different scripture. Somebody say amen. amen. I am a demonstrator. Amen. I believe in demonstrating. Amen. I want you to get the understanding of what I'm saying and why I'm saying it. Amen. And when I when I preach, I remind you of what I'm preaching about. Amen. So when you leave this church, you know what is being preached about. Amen. Well, if you don't you don't hear all the word that I'm preaching, I want my, my topic to be stuck in your head. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So when somebody asks you what the preacher preached on, well, he preached on frequency. I know that one thing. <laughs> You might not know what scriptures I came out of, but I know he was talking about frequency. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. I got some definitions that my daughter's going to read. Uh, she got some definitions that she won't read. Uh, Sister Harris, I want you to get my, my scriptures for me. Um, and we're going to go to Matthew chapter 25. Everybody can get that. Y'all already know where I'm going. Matthew 25. I appreciate God for all these Bible believers in here. And those that may be viewing this by the ways of Facebook, somebody say amen. amen. I pray today that some of you came in here with your antennas out, but your antennas to hear God. Your antennas out to hear God. There's many people today that's going to church. They got their antennas out to see if something wrong is going to be said. They got their antennas out to see if who's going to preach on them. All right. They got their antennas out because they're living a raggedy life. Oh and then when somebody, the minute the word is preached, they shut down. Amen. And they'll say, I'm not receiving that. That's true. And they block out the word because the antenna is the frequency that they're hearing 
they, they, they feel that somebody might be condemning them. But that ain't what God is trying to do. God is not trying to condemn you. He's trying to convict you. So, somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. God is trying to not condemn you. He's trying to convict you. Amen. And conviction and condemn, condemn is something totally different. Somebody say amen. amen. Now let me let me share some with you. Let me share some with y'all. Excuse me because I'm, I'm, I'm allergies. Okay. So condemn. Watch this. The Bible says that there was two men that came to God. A sinner came to God, Brother Alex. The sinner came to the altar beating on his chest. Saying, Lord, I'm not even worthy to look toward heaven. He said, Lord, forgive me. The sinner was convicted of his sin. Y'all hear me? He was convicted of his sin. The sinner wanted to be re asked God to forgive him for his sin. Amen. But there was a prideful person there. Uh -huh. that, that person that was a church person. That's the Bible says he was a rabbi. A person that was a, a man in the kingdom. Yeah. And he looked down at the person that was crying and, and snot nose. And, and, and God, he said, crying crocodile tears. And the Bible says, hey, that man looked up on him and said, oh, God, I'm glad I'm not like this one here. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was condemning the sinner. There was a difference. The Bible asked the question, which one of these got forgiveness? Or which one of these, amen, praise God, God heard. God heard the sinner. But the sinner came in the right way. The sinner came in the posture of the way he came. He came, amen, submitting himself. Being himself. Y'all hear me? There's a lot of folks doing wrong and they come to church like God's supposed to forgive them. God, you 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 said you're a God of grace. Okay, all right, all right. Frequency. Somebody say frequency. Let's deal with this, Sister Miriam. Miriam gonna read my definitions, and Sister Harris is gonna read Amen my scriptures. Somebody say amen. amen. I need your I need your antennas to hear God. I need your ears here. I need your body here. I need your mind here. I need your spirit here. Somebody say amen. amen. Let me tell you some people, God, yes, we've been off a whole week. Amen. Praise God. We was here Tuesday last time we was here. A lot of people right now, praise God, are going to church today. Praise God. But let me tell you something. All the stuff that you went through all this week, all the television broadcasts, all the TV shows, all the football games, all the ice and all the stories that you might have looked at. Amen. We have to dig through all of that stuff on today. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So what we, want, what we want you to do is gurgitate all that stuff. I just said a mouthful right there. Before you come in the house of God, you're supposed to gurgitate. Right. Get all that stuff out of you so you can go in the house of God. You'll get it. Good. Good. God, all right. I feel the Holy Ghost right there. You have to go in the house of God. You'll get it so you can get filled with something. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Because yeah. God got to get through all that stuff. Amen. Amen. All those edge of nights. Oh. Luke killed somebody. Luke slept with somebody. Them stories, the world turning, your world is turning. The edge of night, and you on the edge. General the hospital, you halfway in the hospital. The secret storm, and you know you're going through a storm. Come on, somebody. Don't shout me down because I'm preaching now. Somebody say amen. amen. Well, we're dealing with frequency. All right, Sister Miriam, you ready? All right, let's, where's your mic at? All right, frequency. Praise the Lord. Frequency. We want to give you definitions of frequency. Where are we going to? Why is this radio up here? I'm going to show you in a minute. Go ahead, Lord. Frequency, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, go ahead. The state 
or fact of being frequent, frequent occurrence, rate of occurrence. Rate of occurrence? Uh, in physics, the number of periods or regularly occurring events of any kind in a unit of time, usually in one second. Uh-huh. Come on. So I say frequencies. Frequencies. Come on, give God a praise offering, everybody. Amen. Amen. Let me, let me press this. And Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Lord, we ask you that, oh God, to lay your hands upon me and touch me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Father, by your power and by your spirit, Father, lay your hands upon us, God. Touch every person that's here and those that may be viewing this by raise of Facebook. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for it, God. Lay your hands up on them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, everybody, give God a praise our friend and a thunderous praise in Jesus' name. So I say frequency. All right, you got the rest of it? Come on. Praise the Lord. Frequency is our electrical energy. It is defined as measurable rate of electrical energy that is constant between any two points. Uh -huh. When there is frequency, there is electromagnetic potential. Uh-huh. According to recent scientific studies, everything that exists consists of vibrating frequency. Come on. Light, sound, and even material objects are known as very various forms of frequency. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Come on, give God a praise offering in the Hallelujah. Thank you for that. Amen. Praise God. Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25. Amen. Matthew chapter 25. Okay, praise the Lord. I got this radio up here. Can everybody see my radio? Uh -huh. Can everybody see my radio? Yes, sir. I got this radio up here. This is there's a this radio is not connected to a, it's our number two song there. this week. Big Daddy this is the with the live. Yeah, and this is speaking of my frequency on spirit from outside. Y'all hear me? Your family, Randy. Power is coming from the plug. Y'all hear me? Last one at home. Y'all talk back to me. So, if I turn the channel. Y'all oh. found another frequency. Some of y'all don't know Spanish. So, there's another frequency. So, I gotta find a channel. You see all that static right there? See, if you keep changing the channel, you'll run into some static, but then you keep on looking and feeling for a channel, you'll find a frequency that's coming through really good. Uh oh, some of y'all with the backslide already. Some of y'all for the back side for the album, we've been them shows and everything. But frequency, somebody say frequency. frequency. There's a lot of people in the kingdom of God. The Bible tells us, come on me, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Somebody say amen. amen. Jesus is telling us to come to him. Come to me, and I'm going to give you my life for your life. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say life for life. life, for life. Come on, everybody say life for life. life, for life. You have to deny your life for Jesus' life. Amen. The Bible says, take my yoke upon you. My, my burdens are light. Yes, they are. See, a lot of us are still carrying our own burdens. And see, that's the reason why you are confused. That's the reason why they may praise out there are heavy to you. Because you are not letting, letting your burdens be Jesus' burden. That's right. that's and Jesus told you to turn around and give me, I'm going to give you my burden, you give me your burden. That's right. But it's an even swap. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody say frequency. frequency. When Jesus came to the, I need y'all to walk with me, y'all. I need y'all to come on. Somebody say walk with him. 
When Jesus came to the earth, and the Bible says when he chose, when he came out of the, amen, praise God, out of the wilderness, the Bible says, amen, praise God, he came out of the wilderness after he was tempted of the devil. The Bible says that, amen, praise God, the devil, amen, tempted Jesus three times, amen, praise God. And when he came out of there, praise God, the Bible says, amen, he went and found his disciples. He walked on the Sea of Galilee and found him Peter, James, and John. Found him Matthew. I mean, all of these different men, they, these, these men, but God, Matthew was a tax collector. Luke was a physician. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look, Peter had his own business. Why y'all ain't saying nothing? Yes, 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 Lord. Peter had his own business. Him and his brothers and his fathers, when they left Jesus, the Bible says he left his, he, they left Jesus, amen, they left his father in the care of his friends, uh, those that was working for them. Peter and them had a, he was an entrepreneur. Yes. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. But Peter had a problem, uh -huh. like some of us got. Oh, <laughs> he had a cussing problem. Wow, wow. Peter had a fighting problem. Oh, but Jesus wanted him 12 men. That he can put on his frequency. Alright, that's good, that's good. That he wanted to train them yeah. on the kingdom. Oh, Somebody say the kingdom. the kingdom. I need everybody to say the kingdom. the kingdom. He trained them on the kingdom in spite of their, their, their outward appearance and in spite of what's going on inside of them. In spite of, amen, praise God, amen, that Peter, amen, was going to deny Jesus, amen, praise God, but Jesus still, still chose them. He didn't go to the church to get nobody. He didn't get no rabbis. He didn't get no, y'all ain't saying any of them, no prophets. He got him 12 men that had a problem. Somebody said they had a problem. Some of us got some problems. That's right. Amen. So true. Can y'all be honest with me today? Amen. Y'all look back at me. Y'all cannot be honest with me. Would you have chose you? <laughs> Would you have chose you if you was, come on, y'all. Come on, somebody, you wouldn't have told you. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Y'all know how fickle we are. All right, come on. But anyhow, God chose Peter. God chose Sean, James. God chose James. God chose Bartholomew. God chose, come on, say amen. Yes, amen. But he put them on his frequency. Yes. Look at this, everybody. Amen. Even Judas. Yes. God bless you, young man. Even Judas, long time no see. Amen. Even Judas Amen. got him a devil. Yes. God got him a devil. Yes. Chose him. Yes. Judas Iscariot. Uh -huh. Knowing at the same time that he was going to betray Jesus. Amen. And Jesus still chose him. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Put him on his frequency yes. until he got on the frequencies of the devil. Oh, I just said a mouthful, right? <laughs> I just said a mouthful right there. Y'all hear me? Yes. Satan didn't fully take Judas over until at the, at the time that Jesus said tonight, brother, well, I'm going to be betrayed. Are yes. oh, y'all still here? Amen. Let's go to this, Sister Minister Harris. Let's go to this. Let's, let's walk in this. Somebody said walk in it. Walk in it. Let's walk in it. Let's walk in it. Because sometimes the devil don't fully take us over until we really yield ourselves all, over, all the way over to him. Amen. God will let you cast out devils, let you heal the sick. That's right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Judas did the same thing. Yes, he did. But he got on the frequencies of the devil. Yes, he did. Judas loved money. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Yes. Judas loved himself. Yes. Judas was selfish. Yes, he was. In spite of him laying hands on people, y'all ain't saying nothing here. Amen. God gave him power. Yes, he did. He cast out devils. Yes. Yes, Lord. Y'all ain't saying that either. Amen. Well, all right. That's Matthew chapter 25. Matthew Amen. chapter 25. Yes. Verse number one. Are y'all ready for this? Yes. Begin at verse number one. Come on and read on. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be lacking unto ten virgins. Ten virgins. Which took their lamps. And went forth to meet the bridegroom. To meet, meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, look at me, everybody. Look at me. Look at me. Real quick. So, before, we don't see in there what he told them what they need to do. Amen. It starts that there's supposed to be five and five. So I say amen. 
But they spoke of in they spoke of in orders that they spoke of been taken with them to do. Amen. But five of them did it and five of them didn't do it. Yeah. Are y'all still here? Amen. All right, come on and read, daughter. Read it again. Read it again. And five of them were wise. Uh -huh. And five. Go back to the first verse. Then okay. shall the kingdom of heaven be lacking unto ten virgins. Ten virgins. Which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Now I'm going to ask y'all this question. Which one of these five virgins or ten virgins are you? I want you to put yourself in here. In 2020. Which one of these virgins are you? Are you on the five foolish? Are you on the five wise? What frequency are you on? I want to challenge your mind today if you stay here. Watch this. Come on and read. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Uh-huh. They that were foolish took their lamps. Those that were foolish took their lamps. So they did something, but they, they didn't do the, the rest of it. They halfway did it. Like some folks do. Okay. Come on and read. And took no oil with them. Took no oil. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. So the wise did everything they supposed to be doing. So the foolish got the oil, I mean got the lamps, but they didn't take enough oil in them. So you got to listen to real instructions this time. Because that's the reason why a lot of people are falling off because they're not listening to instructions. Yes. Somebody say amen. All right, come on and read, daughter. Come on. While the bride, bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Uh huh. Behold, the bridegroom coming. The bridegroom coming. Somebody say the bridegroom. Come on and read. Go ye out to meet him. Go ye out and meet him. Come on and read. Then all those virgins arose uh -huh. and trimmed their lamps. They all did the same thing. They all got up. All five of them, all ten of them, so we've been doing the same thing. All of them got the same order. All of them got the same commandment. All right. But somebody they somebody went to sleep. Yeah. Somebody didn't follow all the rest of the order. Yes. Somebody went to MIA. Amen. Y'all ain't saying that here. Uh, Watch this. Come on and read, daughter. Come on. Go back to the fourth verse. The wise that took the them, wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Uh huh. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made. Uh huh. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Come on, read. Go ye out to meet him. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. They all got up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the The wife, foolish said what? Give us of your oil. Give us some of your oil. For our lamps are going out. Because our lamps are going out, too. We brought some oil with us, but we didn't get enough. We didn't go to the store and get nothing. All right, all right, come on. Yeah. All, all ten of them got the same commandments. Yeah. All, all ten of them got the same amen, orders. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But the bridegroom tarried. Come on, somebody. Amen. The bridegroom tarried. And guess what? The Bible says once they woke up, all ten of them woke up. Five was wise, got up and trimmed their lamp. They had enough oil to wait for the bridegroom. But the five that was foolish didn't have enough oil. Yeah. They all was out. The bridegroom turned. And when they all jumped up, they all was the five wise was not on the same frequency. No, they wouldn't. Wow, that's good. Different frequency. But the other five was on the right frequency. Amen. Watch this, y'all. Watch it. I'm going to show it to you. Come on. Read. But the wise answered, saying, not so. Not so. Lest there be not enough for us in you. Come on, read. But go ye rather to them that sell. Go to them that sell. And buy for yourself. And buy for yourself. Yes. Look at me, everybody. Amen. Let me tell you something. If you don't get the Holy Ghost down, if you don't see what, what Jesus is talking about right here is the Holy Ghost. You don't need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your oil. The Holy Ghost is your oil. You don't need the Holy Ghost out the mouth. Why is that a hill? You don't need it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Is it true? Because after a while, when you when you out of oil and you ain't got no anointing, 
You ain't got no Holy Ghost inside of you. You won't be going to ask everybody, give me some of your Holy Ghost. Give me some of your frequency. What, what you on? What you, what you high on? Come on, read, daughter. Go. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. The bridegroom came. And they that went, that were ready went in with him to the marriage. Went to the marriage. Go on, read. The door was shut. And the door was shut. Watch this, everybody. Because because you are not on the same frequency, you can't go into certain places. Y'all yeah, ain't saying anything. There's some things that you cannot do because you ain't on the same frequency. Amen. Come on now. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Some of us ain't on the same frequency. Even in this church right now. I'm preaching some of y'all on another frequency. That's real good. That's where you at right there. Amen. That's where you at. Some, 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 some people are saying. There you go, son. That's right. All you got is static. You, you can't hear God. You're on the wrong channel. You gotta turn to God. You gotta turn to God. That's a better frequency, right? Isn't that right, y'all? That's a better frequency. You can hear, you can hear stuff clear, right? And static when you when you make decisions, when you do stuff, praise God. You have to make sure that you hear God plainly. Somebody say y'all ain't sure. Somebody say plainly. So you gotta make sure all the static is out your head. You have to make sure all the, the, the boyfriend ain't talking to you, talking to you. Your girlfriend ain't talking to you. Your husband ain't talking to you. Your friend, your road dog ain't talking to you. You have to make sure. Because oh. folks will talk you out of God. That's right. They will. They sure will. Your child will get you on the frequency of the child. That's right. You don't care nothing about God. They sure don't. They sure don't. Amen. You're right. That's real good. Right. Somebody say amen. Amen. Boy, it's getting real quiet up in here, y'all. Come on. And see, we value the wrong stuff. That's right. Ooh, that's good. We value the wrong stuff. We value our relationships. We value our y'all ain't sitting in here. Our homeboys and our homegirls and our road dogs. Y'all ain't sitting in here. Our age cool booms. And y'all ain't sitting in here. We honor and we 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 honor that. We we appreciate that. But you don't put that before God. Because oh, my God, my God. Right. you're on the wrong frequency. Yes, Lord. Your frequency is scissored. It's, it's fried. Yeah. Yeah. You're on the wrong frequency. Oh, yeah. When you decide, okay, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go on in the ways of God. Oh, my God. That's a wrong frequency. That's that's the devil's frequency. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. I don't want to be anointed no more. That's the wrong frequency.